Jerry Corsi is really standing in there, not just for himself, because he's 72 years old. If he's convicted, that could in fact be a life sentence, but also the American people. And he's doing that, you know, in the mold of our founding fathers, he's risking his life because he believes in this country and he will not be uh, ramrodded and, and coerced into testifying falsely. What Mueller's going to do now, and all this time has built up for him to do it, he's going to issue an interim report. When Pelosi and company take control of the House of Representatives in early January of 2019, one of their first acts is going to be to introduce articles of impeachment. That's going to trigger more investigations. Mm -hmm. An impeachment manager will be uh, appointed, as it was during the Clinton case. The matter ultimately, because the Democrats now control the House, will be voted out for impeachment. It will go over to the Senate. And in the Senate, there will be a trial. And while the president won't be convicted, because there are enough Republicans to kill impeachment there, the conviction of impeachment, it will grind this country to a halt during a very sensitive and important period for this country when we have crises in North Korea, in Iran. Uh, we have to keep our economy humming along. We've got issues at the border with illegal immigration and invasions and such, and it's going to destroy this country. And you already see the reaction. Look, Michael Cohen was just indicted, this little creep that was the president's lawyer yesterday. Mm -hmm. Again, you know, for something that isn't even a crime because he was communicating with Russia over the Trump Tower, he claims. They, they want to get him to say the president was colluding with Russia. But what happened after that? Well, the president then took the bad advice, frankly, of canceling his meeting with Vladimir Putin, Putin in Buenos Aires, Argentina. You know, this is having an effect. And, you know, the president can't do all that he wants to do because his counselors are telling him to back off. Well, he shouldn't back off. His instincts are great. I love this president. Go for the fences. Don't worry about it. Do what you have to do and let the rest of them be damned. And, and that's what Jerry Corsi said, uh, you know, be damned. I'm going to take this up the line legally. I'm not going to be railroaded into a plea agreement as they re-rail railroaded you, Pete, at the time. Mm -hmm. And, you know, this is not something that you can turn the other cheek on. Jesus wouldn't have turned the other cheek. He told Pontius Pilate to go stick it. He yeah. wasn't going to lie that he wasn't the son of God. Mm -hmm. Told very, him to take a hike. Yeah, very, very hike honorable. Very honorable man, uh, Dr. Corsi, as he says, uh, you know, I'd rather spend uh, the rest of my life in jail uh, than to uh, than to lie. Uh, 